Hey beautiful souls, beautiful sunshine here. I'm back with another prophetic message. Uh, I know I stated to you guys yesterday in the video from yesterday that I normally don't record videos on the weekends, but I guess God see otherwise. So with that being said, and besides, I work for myself, but I'm also on God's time too. So when God say jump, I gotta say how high. So, with anyway, with all that being said, I just want to um, give you guys a quick message on what I received last night. And just keep in mind, I truly believe that this is energy that is happening for the collective in general, period. Um, I'm not going to say all, but I'm going to say probably a whole lot of people, majority of the people. Um, so... Let me get right into the message. Remember, take only what resonates and just remember whatever doesn't resonate. Don't just totally disregard it. Just store it in a file cabinet in the back of your head. You may never know that it could be a situation that may be applying to you in a possible near future. So keep that in mind also too. You got to use your spirit of discernment of when you hear a message and um, not to just completely disregard it. Um, I know... I normally say take what resonates and to leave the rest because sometimes something is seeming may seem um triggering or negative that somebody possibly may not want to hear but i'm just here just to deliver the message and to give you the warnings or to just give you whatever message or whatever guidance that you may need to hear at this time so with anyway with all that being said let me get right into the message and um Again, I know it's Sunday, and I just came back from walking my dog in the morning, so uh, please excuse me, but it's all good, because to be honest with you, I'm trying to get out of that habit of thinking that I need to look a certain way in order to be in front of the camera, because sometimes we gotta just come be an authentic self, and sometimes we just wanna feel, you know, like we don't feel like dressing up, and that's okay too, you know? Um, I will say this, uh, there may be times you may see me in my pajamas and not that I'm intentionally trying to come, but obviously there's a message that needs to be, that I feel like Divine Spirit of Light is trying to get me to put out there and it just so happened it's during the time that I'm in my PJs. So that's why sometimes you may either see the blackout screen and me recording from there, or if I'm being the God, uh, divinely guided, I would just you know post the video. But anyway, with all that being said, and I was also told, in case some of you are wondering too, to place these messages up on YouTube and not necessarily at this time, I've been guided to place the messages up on YouTube and not on my Patreon page at this time. So with all that being said, for now, um, things could possibly change. So just stay open and remain open. But as of right now, uh, again, the Divine Spirit of Light is asking me to... Um, put this message up on YouTube. So anyway, let's get right into the message. So, okay, early this morning, here's what I heard. I heard Aretha Franklin's song playing, okay, as I was sleeping, and I heard the Respect song. Um, and the Respect song, it ties so into this message. So basically what I had heard was the Divine Spirit of Light had said, most of you have been taught to do most of you had been taught to do um, certain things your whole life by one, your parents um, showing you certain things. And, and, and this is no target to the parents. So understand this, this is no target to anyone. It's just learnt behavior. You know, as they say, train up a child in the way that they should go. So when they're older, they won't depart from it. Well, you have to realize this comes from generations, 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 and generations. So one generation might have done something. Another generation might have carried on those same habits. And the next generation has done the same thing. Well, those things are going to keep happening until someone decides that they're going to break the uh, generation, break generational curses is what I call them. Because um, that's all it is. Just learnt behavior from one you know, generation to the next. I know for me, when I was younger, I had decided that I saw things within my family that I did not want to repeat with even in my own household or with my own kids. So I made it a conscious point of um, even early on to say that I was going to make sure that I did just the opposite of what I saw 
um, my mother doing or let's say my father's doing, even though my father wasn't in my life at all. You know, I talked to him twice in my life, but, you know, I have no ill will towards him, you know, um, but with all that being said, I wish him much love and I wish him much light as well, too, because obviously maybe it was just learned patterns or behavior that he had to deal with it that he possibly had to deal with with his parents and again sometimes parents unwillingly knowing the things that they're doing and not realizing that there are patterns that are being repeated but um that's what this message is mainly about um so yeah so um i think the divine spirit of light is trying to get a lot of people to look deep now because i did a message on that very thing that you do not want to experience. I think it was like uh, when I explained that uh, in the message that I saw, it came in a form as, as if my daughter was uh, in a dark place, even though she, it, she wasn't dark, but I just saw darkness standing behind her and I was standing outside and it was more so, and I knew it had something to do with deep down subconscious mind, to me is what I got from the dream. Um, visiting those places that you don't want to visit so this message is also tying into that message too um the message i received early this morning so again just to reiterate what that dream was about it stated that if you are seeing someone go through something and you yourself is telling yourself oh i don't want to experience that what they're going through well the moment that you say that you're already tying yourself into that energy so you will find yourself experiencing that situation so uh with all that being said don't look at it as a bad thing again as i explained the other day that i too also had to go to hell and back um and i'm i'm glad i did um i can't say if everyone else will feel that same way but i'm glad i did i'm glad i did because i was able to see things about myself and other people you know of things that i was accepting that i should not have been accepting and not knowing my worth or um valuing myself enough i thought i valued myself enough but god was really showing me you know you can do a little bit better um so yeah, just when I thought I had mastered one particular area years ago, uh, God was showing me, no, you, you can do a little better, you know, like we need to release this stuff. But anyway, with all that being said, uh, again, so now it's to the point that um, God is having everyone, uh, not everyone, probably at one time, it's probably going to come, as I explained yesterday in that other video, things are going to probably come in waves where people are going to find themselves one group of people going through the situation at this time the next group they heal from that situation another group of situation may be dealing with um that same situation at that time they heal from that and then the, so on and so on and so on because as i explained yesterday everybody cannot go through the same thing at one time because the planet will be so unbalanced so it has to come in phases so yes if you um some people have already experienced this and they've, they've done the healing work that they needed to do and they're done. And then others who have not done the healing work, they have to go through that same initiation, training, phase, whatever you want to call it. But just know I am here to tell you that I find that journey, it was very hard in the beginning. It was very, um, I didn't understand it in the beginning until I had asked God to show me the things that I needed to show because all my life I've been showing just to get off subject real quick all my life I had been show, uh, asking God to show me things that was buried deep down in my heart that I didn't know that was possibly there because I felt like there was something there that I just didn't know was what was there and that I I felt like was unresolved that I wasn't dealing with and I know I used to always tell my spouse at the time, and I used to always tell uh, some of my family members too, and just like other people, like, you know, as an adult, when basically when you have issues as an adult, those issues are stim stimulating from your childhood. Um, they're stimulating from your childhood, unresolved issues from your childhood. So whatever it is that you have not dealt with from your childhood, it's basically going to affect you in your adult life. That's why sometimes people act out. That's why some, t you know, in whatever way that they act out, um, you know, whether it be through drugs, sex, um, multiple relationships, or, you know, 
and again, it's not me judging. I'm just telling you, you know, all those things uh, are coping mechanisms, drinking, you know, all of that. Again, I want you to understand, I am not judging anyone. I'm just saying. But anyway, so let me finish and get back into the message because I don't want to get sidetracked and make this video long and it rolls over to two videos. But um, so basically Divine Spirit of Light was saying most of your life you had been um, taught to do things other people way. And now you're being guided not to let anyone tell you what to do or to make any choices for you any longer but you are to stand up for yourself and make your own decisions what's best for you that's what i heard and again aretha franklin song was playing in the background as i was hearing this message is respect that's what it's saying it's like you you standing up for yourself is respecting yourself you allowing other people to dictate decisions for you when you're constantly asking somebody, what should I do? You're not respecting yourself. And when you don't respect yourself, other people don't respect you either. But when you make decisions for your own, that you standing in your power and you allow people to know, no, you don't make decisions for me. I make my own decisions. And, um... That's, that's what I heard again. So it was the song Respect playing Aretha Franklin, Respect. And um, if some of you need to hear the words in a song, go play the song. Um, but not only that, but again, the divine spirit of light has spoken. And he said, most of you have been taught this behavior as a child or as a kid. And again, do not, as I sit here and say, I'm not judging you guys. Do not judge your parents because sometimes if you, let me put it to you like this. Some things go way back and I don't even want to really sit here and say this, but I'm going to say it because I think it needs to be said. Some things stimulate way back to slavery. If you think about it, programming. If you think about the whole, if you, any of you have ever really read the story about Willie Lynch story or whatever, um, that I went through that a phase in my life when I was just, you know, just learning, you know, just seeing how certain things can happen for us like programming, you know, just how we all have been kind of programmed in some sort of way. So again, don't have any animosity towards your parents. Don't have any hatred in your heart towards your parents because remember, and let me say this, because this I know for a fact. If you have hatred towards anyone, that's a form of judging them. And you too may find yourself experiencing that same situation. So it's best to understand that your parents or grandparents or their parents and so on and so on and generations to come, that they did the very best that they knew how to do given the circumstances that they were in themselves. Um, yeah, because it's a lack of not knowing and that's something you have to keep in mind too. But here comes a time when you can no longer blame anybody else for the decisions and the things that's happening in your life because now the divine spirit of light is saying that you are no longer going to do what someone else has told you to do, what you have been taught to do. But you're going to do what's best for you. Because only you know what's best for you. Okay? So I'm going to leave that message right there on that note. Take it how you will. But the Divine Spirit of Light has spoken. And I'm just delivering the message. And the second dream that I got was... Um, I saw that I was communicating with somebody who's uh, visited my channel. Uh, I was communicating with them spiritually should I say it wasn't physically it kind of felt like it was I was having like a phone conversation with them but I just I just saw me having a conversation with them and this is actually someone actually from my uh my past or whatever the case may be um yeah so I don't want to name any names but anyway so if you were communicating with me spiritually and you realized you was doing it I got the message let me just say that <laughs> But anyway, and then the last message that I got was 
uh, salt and pepper, the, I don't mean salt and pepper that you put on your food, but <laughs> I mean the group salt and pepper. So I saw that there's something was going on with them. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with them. I saw that something was going on with them. I saw as if maybe they was going to the stage or they was coming off of the stage, walking like in the in a hallway and all I heard was something was going on with them. I'm not exactly sure, but I don't know why I was being given this message, but I will just say, I pray and hope that all is well with them because I love salt and pepper. I love them. Oh my God, like, 84 was the year <laughs> um 84 was the year salt and pepper's here <laughs> but anyway so i'm wishing them well um if any of you guys know something that i don't know i don't know let me know but anyway so i'm wishing them well i hope all is well with them but i'm all i'm wishing you all much love and much light on your journey and uh, yeah, I'm wishing y'all much love and light on your journey. And uh, I just want to say, I hope you have a beautiful Sunday. Uh, I think my daughter told me this morning before we went to go walk the dog, she said it was daylight savings time, but I didn't even know that. But anyway, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoy your Sunday. The weather is beautiful outside. The birds are really chirping. Um today was just a lovely day it felt really beautiful i mean for me most of the time feels beautiful beautiful but for some particular reason today felt even more beautiful outside um so if you guys get a chance get outside get in the weather and just let the sun hit you so again as i say always i'm wishing you all much love and much light on your journey and i say peace i would say in hair grease or soul train but just not the soul train so i would say Peace and love. Much light. Bye.